uh, I'd like to show you how you can add textures to your terrain. And how you can have more than one texture instead of this uh, default grid pattern that they've applied to terrain to start with. Uh, and uh, it's pretty easy to find textures. So I actually just did an image search for grass. Tileable texture is a good phrase. Uh, and I actually uh, searched for a few uh, dirt, some uh, trees from an aerial view, and then also a couple versions of grass. And, uh, and once I found some I wanted to use, uh, what I've done already is a right click for save image as, just to copy it. By the way, tileable is important because if the images are set up to tile, it means it can repeat and be used over and over again in your textures, and it's more efficient uh, as opposed to finding an enormous image. Uh, so again, tileable is, is just super helpful. Uh, once I created a folder with my textures, uh, I actually just dragged them straight into the assets folder in Unity to copy them into Unity assets. And that's the best workflow. Just right from your desktop or a folder, from your finder, you can drag directly into the assets section and then it copies them for you. So I have a variety of textures that I can work with at this stage. And then I'm going to go ahead and select my texture, my terrain in the hierarchy. And then over in the inspector, you want to check which tools you're in and uh, you know, maybe you're in settings. Uh, I want to go to the brush tool. And then there's a special option labeled paint texture. So no matter what you're in there initially, go in there and choose paint texture. And then from here, you need to create textures from the ones that you made available in your assets. So there's a little button labeled edit terrain layers. And you're going to click there and then choose create layer. And then it's popping up with textures that are available. It's showing some that came by default with this. And then it's also showing ones that I've added into my own texture assets. Um, so I'm going to choose uh, the grass, this one to start with, and then I'll just close this window. And then at this stage, you'll see that's applied to the entire area. So that's a good starting point. So you just go ahead and uh, maybe choose one texture to start with overall. Uh, but then from here, you repeat the process. You hit Edit Terrain Layers again, create another new layer, and then choose another texture. So I'm going to choose Dirt this time. And you'll see it listed here under Terrain Layers. It's also uh, Unity is creating a layer for it, which is an asset stored in assets. You can see it both places. Um, this is where the paintbrush and paint texture kind of comes in. You can choose your second layer that you made, um, and then take the brush and start to drag to paint in the sections that you want to use that texture. So I'm going to apply um, dirt to some of the lower regions in my case. So it's kind of fun. You're painting in specific textures, as long as you have more than one. And you can keep repeating the process. You can click Edit Terrain, Create Layer, and choose additional layers that you want to add in. So I have uh, some aerial view of trees that I found. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to try to paint that in on some of the um, higher regions. So basically what happens is the first layer you create supplied to the terrain is a default overall. And then after that, any additional ones that you create, uh, you can paint from, which is a really, really nice process for something organic.